you know, when it comes to cancer and just overall health, a, a lot of people talk about getting the body more alkaline, specifically through diet. How important is that? It's another misconception, right? Um, so here's the real deal. Your blood needs to be at a particular uh, 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 pH, right? And optimally, your blood likes to be a little bit more alkaline than neutral, just a little bit more alkaline. Now remember, the body has wisdom. The body has six buffering systems that it uses to maintain tight control, super tight control over the pH of your body, of your blood. So if you eat a diet that forces your blood towards the acidic end of the spectrum, the buffering systems kick into gear and the blood becomes neutralized again. And vice versa, if the blood becomes too alkaline, the buffering systems kick into gear and your blood becomes more acidic. So it is virtually impossible to make your blood too acidic. You can't do it. Now, however, you can stress the buffering systems out and when you stress the buffering systems out, other things will happen. Because in large part, the buffering systems use minerals to neutralize the blood and bring it back from an acidic state to an alkaline state. So if you eat a diet that's highly acidic or that makes your blood become acidic, the buffering systems kick into gear. The buffering systems dump minerals into the blood to neutralize the pH. Well, what if there are no minerals in your diet? Your buffering system still needs to kick in, so what does it do? Instead of using minerals that are available to it from food, it robs minerals from your bones, your joints, from everywhere, wherever it can. So an overly acidic diet will lead to bone and joint degradation because the body will steal minerals from the bones to neutralize the blood. This is the biggest problem. Now, you know, there's the whole conversation about, well, cancer cells grown in a petri dish in a laboratory will only grow if they're in an acidic environment. Well, that's great in a petri dish in a laboratory, right? Mm -hmm. Again, the tumor and the cancer cell is not the disease. It's the result of the disease. There was something that made them generate, right? There's something that made them generate. And the real place to look here is what is it that is causing the body to generate a tumor? What is it? What is the metabolic process that causes that to happen? I don't think acidity or alkalinity has anything to do with it, quite frankly. And one of the worst things that anybody can do is drink alkalinized water with a meal. Because your stomach acid, when you're healthy, is super acidic and super strong. And we need to make a distinction here between stomach acid and intracellular alkalinity or acidity and blood alkalinity or acidity, right? So when you're eating a meal, your stomach is pumping out acid. And it's, if you're healthy, it, it's extremely acidic. So then you drink alkalinized water or a carbonated beverage right, carbon dioxide, neutralizes the stomach acid, making it impossible for your body to digest what you just ate. So you may have eaten perfect calories, but now your stomach can't digest them, and so you're screwed. So if you are an alkaline water enthusiast, now alkaline water does hydrate your body better than non-alkalinized water. And hydration is extremely important. So alkalinized water is an excellent hydrator, but you should only be drinking that stuff between meals. And if do not drink a carbonated beverage with a meal. Again, on my website, I've got a membership uh, area where I have hundreds of hours of webinars that explain all of this stuff, right? What we think causes high blood pressure, why salt is good, why butter is good. Uh, what you can do to support and promote healthy bones and joints, what, what you can do to support and promote uh, uh, healthy fertility, and so forth and so on. Because uh, there's tons of little clinical pearls that people need to know that they just don't, like the importance of salt. One of the most important nutrients anybody can use is table salt. Mm -hmm. 
you must be salting your food so that it tastes good. If you want to learn why, go to my website. <laughs>